This is a seminal vesicle. Seminal vesicles may appear at first glance to look remarkably similar to uh, vas deferens, both grossly and microscopically. Often they can be confused uh, both grossly and microscopically. The uh, vas deferens generally uh, insert behind the prostate medially, whereas the vas deferens are coiled up and uh, are arranged in the same area, but are lateral and extend laterally as well. Uh, the epithelium can look uh, very similar to vas deferens because it looks like it's sort of a columnar epithelium. I don't believe it has stereocilia anymore, but if I'm wrong, I apologize. It doesn't look like it really has uh, cilia in here. It looks like it's a rather uh, sort of columnar uh, epithelium. But in addition, the uh, vas deferens also have a nice array of these little fibrous trabeculae usually traversing most of uh, the uh, lumen. Of course, if portion of the vas deferens is very large, like here, then these trabeculae won't extend all the way across. The last thing I want to say, but probably won't be, about uh, seminal vesicles, which this is, is that often the uh, epithelium of the seminal vesicle can appear, for some unknown reason, very big and very dark. And often when there's a needle biopsy of the prostate, or the, and it includes parts of a seminal vesicle, you can see little glands, which may be confused with prostate glands very easily, and you can see all of a sudden these big dark nuclei, and you go, oh my God, is this cancer? Well, it never is. In addition, you may often see little crystalloids within the a seminal vesicle, which you don't normally see in the cytoplasm of the uh, prostate. Uh, sort of a simple columnar to cuboidal epithelium. If you want to call this cuboidal, be my guest. Uh, if the book says columnar, then we could either follow the book or use our judgment. It looks kind of cuboidal to me. Uh, a lot of little fibrous tissue forming these trabeculae. Uh, there's a lot of fibrous tissue and smooth muscle surrounding this as well. These uh, nuclei look a little bit too spindly to me to be pure fibroblast, so I suspect there's some smooth muscle here. And uh, I can also suspect that most of the tissue in here is uh, fibrous tissue, which means fibroblast, collagen. There's a vein, there's an artery, there's a small blood, blood vessel. Most of these are collagenous bands. Most of the tissue here, uh, well, I'm going to have to plead ignorance. I would say it could be either smooth muscle or fibrous tissue. And why don't you go and look it up and see what it's supposed to be, because I really don't know. It looks kind of like smooth muscle to me, because there is some smooth muscle surrounding the uh, epithelium of the vas deferens. Unfortunately, in this particular stain, it is, in my opinion, indistinguishable from fibrous tissue. Uh, so there we are. We are almost at the end of our journey. Uh, the sperm will then shoot out, so to speak, from the seminal vesicles into the ejaculatory ducts, which we will not see a picture of which will then finally enter the uh, prostatic urethra, then through the membranous urethra, then through the spongy urethra, and that's the end of our journey. Uh, thank you very much.